in a universe where life does not end at death. We explore the infinite possibilities forged by our very minds. Welcome to our Thedian Anthologies. Before we get started, I just want to inform you that this series was recorded over Discord. If the quality dips, it's due to connection issues. Greetings, fellow travelers and storytellers. Welcome to a Reborn in Power series featuring Dr. Cal and his creation. Proto. Follow along as he learns how to live and survive beyond the confines of the Zelic dynasty. Dr. Cal, you are inside a, well, a command pod. You are inside the lounge area. Proto is sitting there, and you see Commander Kurter piloting the pod as the pod (laughs) begins to start up. You see the ship begins to lift off and then fly through the air. As you fly through the air, you can see out what looks like different windows, uh, like screens that you can see out of the, what looks like a forest area that you're flying over head you see in the distance uh, what looks like a a large clearing area with multiple buildings and a large and a larger building um, within the like within the center of of the other buildings surrounding it it looks like you're moving away from that area towards the north heading north and I'd like you to roll me a perception check ooh my perception is it matched out now besides putting a talent yes well and two more will I, yeah, very few people can out perception me <laughs> on basic try, roles try sigh right try sigh <laughs> Well, wait, Sai is size? really Sai. Uh, like every single time, there's a high perception roll from Sai. Like I, I, I can't. Sai cannot unperceive something so far. Okay, so let's see. There is a sixteen plus five. Yeah, sixteen plus five. That would be twenty-one. Twenty-one. As you look yep. out. In the distance, you notice it's faint, but it's getting bigger and bigger and larger and larger. It looks like a ring of some kind uh, that's going up into the skyline across the horizon. Uh, go ahead and roll me a lore check. Ooh, I'm not good at lore. <sighs> Only a Plus 13 to whatever I rolled. <laughs> oh, that's a 9. Plus 13, so that is a 9 plus 13. 9 plus 13. 
Come on, Brian. Nine plus 13. That is, I believe that is a 22. 22? 22. Yeah, that's 22. All right. Uh, <sighs> as you think about it, you remember that the inside the propaganda that you were learning about from uh from you know your your old your old homeland the motherland oh, I thought you were about to say your old <laughs> father and I was like oh no that's the one guy who is anti propaganda <laughs> no from from the the motherland you here just because I use a Russian accent doesn't mean we refer to the DMO score dead as motherland. Hey, it's, it's Alex Dynasty. It's the fatherland. It's, 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 father. it's, it's, the, it's fatherland. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you, you remember from the propaganda, you remember from the propaganda that uh, Pillar Command is the place where uh, Core Command's like head, head area is at, and it's somewhere on the harbor. It's said to be some giant ring inside a uh, a massive like landmass on the harbor um you also know that pillar command oh well, core command is one of the leading factions that has made sure that the zelic dynasty does not get certain military technology it like does not get the actual uh, you know proprietary like software and hardware and all that stuff for military tech. So yeah, uh, do with that knowledge what you will, but you are heading directly towards this large ring in the center of this landmass that you're flying over. What you're telling pod. me is I can out tech my brother. Out tech him? Good information. I mean, good information. Maybe. Who knows? But you're going. I mean, Wait, well, who knows what who knows what dear brother has been up to? Dear evil, evil, evil brother. You see, Commander Kurter turns on a few uh, a few systems inside the cockpit, and then you hear autopilot successful. And then you see he stands up and walks over and looks over at you, and he gives you a long sigh. <sighs> Need something? We'll be, uh. Well, we will be landing in about 20 minutes or so. 20 minutes? That means. Sorry, sorry. That's something in the Discord. Oh. <laughs> Give me a second. I Stop, gotta distra- that. Stop distracting oh. us! Don't. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Right. Um, yes. Twenty minutes. Such a good view. <laughs> I just try to look out the pod door. You, you know the windows. Do you have any questions for me? I mean, not really. Proto, you have any questions? I don't have questions, no. I thought I was supposed to be silent, Master Creator. That was like... How long ago did I say that? When we left? Ten minutes ago. Did I? Uh, Dr. Cal actually, like, takes a moment to, like, physically think. (laughs) Did I tell him to... I might have... (laughs) I, no, it's it's probably a good idea for you to be silent. It's probably a good idea for me to be silent. I can't do that. Oh, right. Uh, he, Dr. Cow kind of like straightens up as he's like, wait, I was talking to someone. <laughs> talk, talk, talking to the commander who's standing right in front of you and he's just kind of like looking between you, know, like, between right you and Proto. Me. He's looking between you and Proto, and and is just like, oh my god, like he, he, that he's just not having it right now. So funny that Proto has higher charisma than me. <laughs> um, and uh, Doctor Cal like kind of just like looks up, and he's like, "All oh, right, I was talking with you. Um, what did you say? Oh, 
questions. Yes. Um, I don't. I don't think I have any questions. And he like looks over, like he's going to ask if Proto has any questions no. again. No, no, I did that. No, I did that. And then I look back at him. <laughs> he, he's just like, uh, all right. And then you hear uh, coming from his codex, and he goes and checks it. And you see him go over to the cockpit and uh, press down on his codex into a, a little slot into the systems, and you see a uh, a hollow vid <laughs> appears. Uh, go ahead and roll me a perception check. Ooh, I'm good at perception. Oh, that's a pretty good roll. Uh, that. Mm, oh, uh, nope, I almost said the wrong number. That is a... 23. 23. You begin to hear slight... The, the, well, you see what looks like the, the on the hollow vid a... maybe a teenage, a teenage prime of some kind appear on the hollow vid and... Commander Kurter is talking to him. He's like, "Hey, uh, how is everything? Are, are you all right? Are you safe?" And you hear from the hollow vid. It's kind of staticky, a bit, and you hear, "I'm, I'm all right, Uncle. Um, I, what? I, the tech ops says that. Well, the hall is, the hall shouldn't be approached." Currently, and I, I, I did. In, I, Tatan, Tatan, are you there? Oh, fuck. And then you see the hollow, the hollow vid drop. Crap. And you see Commander Curter stand up and then walk over, walk back inside the room. Your, uh, technician. Right? Doctor? Yes. Yes, I am. Do you know how to, uh, get a better connection on a, on a codex, uh, I mean, Holovid? I should be able to. It might mess with something or break your warranty. Break my warranty. That's a joking <laughs> Uh, he just stares at you. He's like, can you? Help me. He says this completely seriously with like no like laughter. Just break your warranty. He, <laughs> he doesn't understand. <laughs> he just how to humor. Yeah, he just stares at you. He's like, "Can you help me?" Or not? Uh, Doctor Doctor Cal just like kind of puts up his hands, like grabby baby hands. Okay. You know, where they just kind of like go up and they just like do the squeeze motion. <laughs> Yeah. He does that. <laughs> he doesn't say anything. He just does that. It's just like uh, you see the c- commander begins to like twirl his hand a little bit. Like, uh, uh, are you going to say something? Are you going to say yes or no? I thought you were. I thought you were going to give it. No. C- are you going to come come into the cockpit with me so you can try to fix fix my my oh, connection? Rat codex. Yes. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he like slowly walks over to that codex and you you walk over and you see the commander looks over at you and says now if you try anything funny I'm I I will pin you down all right I just kind of look at him like I'm registering what he said okay <laughs> uh, and then, like, without saying anything else, he just kind of turns around and starts working on the codex. Okay, as you go and do this, I would like you to roll me a computers and mechanics. Yeah, I was about to say. Computers and mechanics. Do... Oh, computers and mechanics. Yes. Oh, you mean, like, computers and mechanics? Yes, I mean, like, uh, you know, the computers and the mechanics. Okay, I got a completely average roll. Um, so that's a 6 plus a 12, which already equals an 18, uh, plus 4. So that is 22. 
on computer check. Computer check, you... It's you go and role you go and bonus, you go and check but... the check the systems to see if there's anything uh, wrong with it. You do see that you you do no- notice that the uh, the radius for the for the like connection amplifier is turned down, and you can you can fix that uh, underneath the underneath the systems. And, uh, so you go go ahead and roll me a mechanics check. So I crit failed this. Oh. I know that doesn't do anything in your system. I just find it funny. Um, that is a seventeen. Okay. Yeah. You uh, you go under and you begin to amplify the the radius, the connection radius for uh, the codex to try to try to connect further, and you see as that happens. Uh, you feel like it worked. What do you do? Um, he, he got distracted because, like, he's he's messing with this thing now. Uh, he, he he just keeps looking, like, looking through all like the stuff, not even remembering like he was doing a job for someone else. <laughs> he's just finding it interesting. Okay. Uh, like. Like he's just like messing with like settings now and then putting them back to default to and, see what they do. And com- the uh, C- commander Kurtur looks at down and he's like, are, "Are you are you done, or is this going to take some time? Because if not, then uh... and I look over and I put all the settings back to default. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I had to mess with the settings to make it be- be- yeah better. You so you put them back to default." Well, besides the one that I messed with to okay. actually get the connection. Okay. Okay. Uh. Uh. <laughs> as you do that, I. Well, maybe just one more mechanics check. Just. Oh, uh, one more mechanics check. Yeah, one more mechanics check, please. I was about to say, Matt, can you blow up my dice? And then I remembered you. You're in Discord, so you can't. Um, so let's see here. That's a nine. Okay. So let, let, let's let me. That's let over. Me take a, that's over a twenty. Long. That's over a twenty. Uh, it's already a twenty-one. Okay. Uh, without adding uh, my mechanics check, which would make it a twenty-five. Okay. Well, yeah, e- easy enough. You're able to put everything back to default and make sure that everything's like exactly how how you how you had it before. Um, and you get up, and he goes and checks on the codex to try to call what looks like a a number that has the label Taten on it. And as he goes, and uh, and Doctor Cal just like goes back and sits down, okay, like where he was. Are you gonna try to listen in, or are you gonna try to just ignore it? No, he doesn't. Doctor Cal honestly doesn't care. I'll be completely frank with you. Okay. So you're, you're just going to uh, you let, it, let it go? What, I mean, unless I get told it's not working, in which case it's an insult to my pride. Uh, <laughs> but that's it. All right. Yeah. He uh, he calls and Proto looks over at you. He's like, everything all right, creator? Yeah, he just needed a few settings messed with. I see. That was about the do you think that this general is going to be forthcoming to our needs and wants? Probably not. But we'll see. Always assume the worst, Proto, and then you're always pleasantly surprised. Always assume the worst? Oh, that's my philosophy. Probably not the good one. I... I don't think you programmed that into me. Dr. Cal thinks for a minute. <laughs> He's like, I, no, no, I probably didn't. Maybe I should have. If I no. always assume the worst, shouldn't I always be ready for combat? You already are. But it's more like... Always be armed and ready. 
constantly. I mean, <laughs> uh, Doctor Cal has like his his backpack on again. Yeah. Um, and where Father's old uh, rinky dink pistol that Father gave to me was is now like the new. <laughs> Like hidden under that compartment is now the um, the corner sight tech revolver. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm like, yeah, more more or less. <laughs> uh, uh, and as he like remembers that he's wearing shock gloves like openly <laughs> because he never took them off. Shock gloves are you know good to ha- have on you. Yeah, but as you are 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 sitting there, Proto kind of looks back out the the window, and he says, "Do you think that we can go to?" And he looks back at you. You're going to say TL Frameworks? Yes. Proto, I might check that place out. I don't want you to come along. And you see him turn away again. You could tell he's he still doesn't like that answer. <laughs> uh, is <laughs> is is the uh, is the commander still talking with someone? Uh, like, can he, I hear him talking? It looks like he is talking st- still to someone, and you you he- over here. All right, um, just wait for me there, and I will, I will contact, uh, I will contact a few others to see if they can assist in the cleanup. I'm sorry that this has happened, Jaden. Stay vigilant, all right, in your. Yes, Uncle. Um, I will. And then you hear <laughs> the Codex call. Finish. I wonder if he knows anything about dealing with children. <laughs> As I'm looking over at my child, what's the best way to whatever Proto is? <laughs> you also uh, see. Child is a... You also see in here, uh, Commander Curter turn on a uh, turn off the autopilot. And then begin to pat it over, and then you hear over the comms of the pod, you hear Commander Curter say, "All right, we were going to be landing in T T minus three minutes." Uh, as that's happening, I kind of just like sit over Nets to Proto. I imagine he's still giving me the cold shoulder. Proto looks over at you when you go and sit next to him. And he says, is there something the matter, creator? I'm just trying to make sure you don't pick fights with core command. I thought you said to assume the worst. Yes, but it's weird. It might be useful. You don't want me to pick fight with core command? Not right now. Well... I was originally just going to stay completely silent the entire time we have been here. Unless... That might still be the best option. All right. If but if your ahead. only social skills are from me, definitely the best option. Well, maybe you should be quiet too because you have bad social cues, creator. Yes, that that's probably right. Well, we'll see. We'll see how stuff goes. All right. As the pod begins to land, you see outside you are uh, approaching what looks like the the ring is no longer really visible except for the walls of it. It looks like a halo, like like from Halo, but it's on, it's on on the planet, and you see like. Uh, towering buildings that are uh, that are vertically like that, that that they're vertical 
and pods are flying like vertically upward and there is a central uh a central station that is at the at the like literally the cent- the center of this ring um and then the the vertical the vertical like cityscape goes up above the cloud line and when you go th- uh, up to the the center um you you go up to the the center station and you see the pod of goes and lands down over there and you see as you go as as commander Curtis stand, stands up and and has finished landing the the pod the doors open up and you head out into what looks like a it looks like there's some kind of full-on uh, orb like sh- shielded orb that is covering this entire station and you see a bunch of command officers walking around there's more people here than you have seen in some time um, and they're all different species too like like there it's mostly prime but you see a bunch of yen you see a few reticon uh you see some Cantol walking around. You see Sin frames walking around. And it, it's just a, a, a mixture of, of people. And they're all in uh, uniforms for core command. And you are being escorted by Commander Curter. And he looks, at, he looks back at you and he's like, Make sure to keep up, all right? Uh, yes. <laughs> As he's just kind of looking around, like, how fast can my little legs carry me? <laughs> you, <think. laughs> you are walking uh, behind him, and Proto, Proto is walking ahead of you, but he also keeps uh, looking Proto, back at Proto, Proto, pick me up. <laughs> uh, you, yes, creator, I can pick you up. And you see, he, he picks you up and then begins to walk with you. Uh, uh, are we still, are we still like right behind. Yes, the commander. Yeah, the command. Uh, <laughs> the commander kind of wait waits for you and and pull and kind of is like, all right, whatever. Uh, come on, and then you guys, you guys go up uh, a bunch of steps up to the the central station, um, and as the doors <laughs> slide open. You see uh, what look what looks like a long desk and uh, a wait. It looks like a waiting room, um, uh, with a bunch of a bunch of people with with codexes in, in hand, uh, filling out certain things, going up to the desk, and then ha- handing over to uh, what looks like a, an operative of some kind behind the desk, and they they are kind of giving them certain certain directives to go out and do as. You see, Commander Kurt Kurter goes up behind one, one of uh, one of these individuals who who is being assigned a, a directive. The individual then walks over and takes a seat, and Commander Kurter steps up. It's like we are here to meet with General Putel, um, Commander Kurter, and he puts his codex forward, and you see the operative pulls the codex from him and then scans it. And then, and then they hand it back. It's like, all right, uh, Pluto is in the in his office currently. You may go ahead. And uh, Curter nods his head, and he looks over at you. All right, come on. And he walks over to the side. And as he walks over to the side, you see a little device at the top of the, of of the of the door. It scans, uh, Curter, and then you see the door slides open and he walks through and he looks back at you and you walk through and you see uh, uh, you you step onto a platform uh, and you're like in a small in a small room and then you feel the platform begin to shift through it almost feels like it's shifting like sideways for a second and then you feel your your stomach kind of begins to twirl a little bit as you as you feel the the platform lifts upward and almost like it, like it's going um, diagonally upward and then it stops 
and then the door <laughs> slides open. And as the door slides open, you enter into a chamber where you see what looks like a fireplace and uh, <laughs> at, it, it, the fireplace is not lit currently uh, you see a you see a desk there and you see a, a large like screen window that is, that looks down upon the well the the massive ring that you find yourself in the of pillar command and sitting down behind the desk reading a codex is the general as he looks over he looks oh he, uh, as he's he like looking gives, over at me he, he uh, looks I like proto to put me down <laughs> finally he has this general looks like he is um he's an older fellow uh prime he has uh, like wrinkles on his face but he looks he still he looks very stoic and uh very what's the word i'm looking for Intimidating, I guess. Oh, intimidating. Yes. Uh, he has he has the face of someone who is very serious about what he does. Dr. Calmet's a mental joke to not try comedy. To try not try comedy. <laughs> um, I mean, that's that's the <laughs> that's the best Dr. Cal can say there. <laughs> He looks over and he sets the codex down. Commander Carter. I see you have brought the, uh, our specialized informant. Yes. Things are not going very well since we last spoke, General. I understand. And can you provide to me the reason why you have brought uh, the good doctor to me? Well, I believe that Dr. Cow here has some insight into the threat that we are facing and perhaps could assist the those who are working to stop this this ordeal that is going on really And how can he do that? Well, Dr. Cal here, he has some connections into the dynasty, I'm sure. And he looks back at you. Uh, Dr. Cal, like, thinks, like, I, I have no connections with the dynasty. Not on good standing. <laughs> the few connections I made, uh, I escaped by Wait, killing Are, you, a are you saying this out loud, or are you thinking this? Oh, no, Dr. Cal says it. Uh, Dr. Cal is like, no, I don't I don't really have any good connections. And you see the I general... Mean, the few people I have are like... The general just stares... My brother. The general stares over at Commander Kurtur. It's like, Commander Kurtur looks back, he's like, your brother, right? Your brother. Yes, he's not a good connection. It doesn't matter about connections, whether they're good or not. It's a matter of whether or not you can lead us to them and understanding their goals and their plans. 
But I think all of your species is sub pure, so I understand for them to really make deals. Alright, silence. I understand okay. exactly how the dynasty operates. It's been known for some time. But they are moving. And how they are moving it's extreme in several circumstances. Too extreme. Almost like they're ready to take over Wait. Wait. <laughs> Mr. Cal was just like sitting there trying not to talk because he was told to shut up <laughs> and he you see the general steps over towards the fireplace and then turns on the little knob as the fireplace lights up And then he looks down at it. And then he says... Commander Carter. The... Your team out there. How have they been handling the situation? Well, uh... As I had stated before in my message to you there was a group that was hired by the mayor of Turtrentrek they they've been able to deal with most of the threat there and we were ordered to stand down by the mayor of course you were it's crazy to think that some of these Mayor, senators, they don't want the backing of core command. Proves them wrong in the end. But what of these? Uh, I suppose we can call them allies. Do they have a name? As of right now, no, but, uh, I mean, they don't have a group name, a squadron name. I guess we'll just call them, uh, uh, just, just refer to them as the Turth Squadron or something like that. The Turth Squadron, yes, okay. Um, they are... They, two of them are hunters. One of them is seems to be some person that the administration had hired be prior um, to everything going on. But they are dealing with the situation rather admirably, I would say, and they are willing to, I guess, lay down their lives for this. Do you think that they would be interested in a larger directive? Um, I could definitely propose this to them. I see. Dr. Cal. Uh, Dr. Cal's zoned off like halfway through them talking. <laughs> uh, and it takes him like like five seconds for him to like just kind of like slowly turn his head towards the general. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. You are hmm. strange. Do you know anything about the 
Tether Network. Uh, Dr. Cal just like tries to remember what he learned about probing from the. Can I can I do a, what what would that be a lord a lore would that be a lore? Yeah, sure. I, I think that was I, I was trying to say probing, but no, that's no. just your ability to do it. Yeah, uh, lore no. would be actually knowing about the network. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's that's honestly hilarious. Uh, the uh, fourteen complete failure. <laughs> Lowest uh, I can possibly do. As you think about the, this, you you noticed when you when Proto had captured the well, the guy that Commander Critter killed. You know, the servant. You, then you, the servant. Uh, the network. Everything ties. It, it's almost like everything is tethered directly to the tetherer of a Cortexium. Uh, probers are, are typically the ones to probe the minds of uh, like anything that is outside of the tethered network. Um, and um, you see the general walks up to you. Is like, do you know about any of the experiments that uh, they do? Uh, Dr. Cal looks over at Proto. And as soon as you look over I, at Proto... Proto, don't say anything. As soon as you look over at Proto, the general looks over at Proto. And then he walks over. Are you an you experiment? You want me to open up the back of his head? Do you say I that? Say before he, he like before he even gets a chance to say, are you an experiment? And he looks back. You want me to open up at the back of his head? He is an experiment. Oh, yes. Can you guess what kind? (laughs) He looks at him. Oh, I see. A mole. There's no brain in that thing. It's all sin controlled. Well, besides the inner brain that doesn't really control anything. Commander Carter. Yes, uh, General. Please, uh, leave us. Um. Yes, General. Does and Proto then... say? <laughs> Proto, Proto's just standing there. Has, yeah, hasn't I, said I do a say word. that to the General. Uh, the General looks over and is like, Yes, we will be staying. Want me to allow him to speak? Because right now I just told him to shut up. Sure, he can speak. Yeah, Proto, you can talk. It's fine. All right. And you hear the door slides open and closes behind uh, Commander Kurter. And you see Proto looks over at you. And then looks over at the general. And the general just begins to walk around Proto, examining him. Intriguing. Where did you get the, uh, the tech? TL Frameworks. My partner in the project knew someone there. He looks over at you. TL Frameworks, you say? Yes. Hmm. Intriguing. And how do you work, Proto? I can work optimally, General. Mm. I would show you blueprints, but I know your core has them somewhere, because they have my original codex with them. I haven't gotten the chance to truly examine it. Examine your file. I can give you a 
a basic rundown. I do not need that. I'll look at it on my own time. Uh, my research is not complete, as Proto here is, by his name, a prototype. Yes. I will not continue the project in the same direction, but I do want to continue the project. Mm. In what direction were you going to head, though? Obviously um, not with a uh, deceased corpse. And you see, he has uh, he already, already spotted that. Um, can, can Dr. Cal makes a face. A face of <laughs> getting caught. Like... <laughs> I it was it, I was trying to use clones. He looks over at you. Clone technology is uh forbidden in the foundation region. Well, I guess I'll have to get out to the foundation region. Uh, yeah, Dr. Cal just straight up says that out loud without thinking about it. <laughs> I suppose you would have to do that. There's a lot of things I don't think are technically legal within your... Uh, but I can show you something interesting. Uh, Dr. Cal does not have a knife, does he? Uh, you do not. But you see, the general looks over at you. He's like, I don't need to see any of your things right now. Oh, oh, okay. I'm honestly not very interested in much of the uh, deeper understanding of how you did this or, or anything like that. It is quite intriguing, I was just though. Show, I was trying to show you the most intriguing part of them. These bones, they're coated in metal, and I did not do that. Yes, of course you didn't. And it, it, it's almost like he's just like kind of like not even caring at this point. Dr. Cal. <laughs> uh, yes. You are from the dynasty. Yes. There is... I am putting together a directive. A massive one. One that will call upon not only the several branches of Corps Command itself, but also a call upon mercenary squadrons from across the pillars, as well as the Foundation region. These squadrons, hopefully, will assist us in dealing with your dynasty. My question to you is... Uh, Dr. Cal... You continue first. My question to you is, on which side are you on? Definitely not on the dynasty side. As long as you allow me to do my research outside of your borders, I do not care. If you can assist us with this, a few missions, there is someone... Some, perhaps, tetherer within your dynasty that is causing trouble out within our command colonies. You need my help to track him down? Indeed. And I think I know just the squadron... To assist you on that. Do, do, do. <laughs> foreshadowing. <laughs> I say it's foreshadowing, but to like listeners, it'll already be known. Yes, it is known. They, <laughs> if, 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 yeah, because like th- these aren't coming out for a while, uh, and, and like 
the, it's going to happen in like three weeks or however long. Oh, it's it, it, not it'll, as long. It'll come out soon. It'll come out soon. You, you'll, you'll see. Soonish. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll see. I but, have no idea what season do- the doctor is on. <laughs> um, but. Oh, God, I just realized I haven't made enough Doctor Who references for the fact we call this the Doctor. <laughs> it's because you call yourself the Doctor Cow, so I was like, I'm just going to call you the Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't but, wait to have like a session where we just talk about the dumbness of Doctor Cow and, and why his name is like that and stuff like that. He, gen- the general looks at you and is like, <laughs> is is like, well. You be interested in something like this, and you also will be paid for it. You'll also be provided with a. Hmm. You don't seem like the type to work well with others, or at least not be able to communicate well with others. Uh, Doctor Cal like thinks for a minute, like. Should I, should I disagree with that? No. And I, she just kind of like shakes his head like he was thinking to himself. And like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yes, of course I'm right. Um, you. Will re- report to m- me directly. Help out this other squadron sparingly? You will you help about You squadron. will help out this squadron. At the start, I believe it would be it would be sparingly. As long as I am giving my own materials to uh in your research, uh, he, his eyes like unconsciously drift towards Proto, uh, and then he like snaps back to the <laughs> right. He can't see my eyes because Newgonian. Mm-hmm. My head slowly turns towards Proto, and then I turn back to uh, <laughs> to the general. Um, I am I am ready to help. Your focus will be on hunting down this tetherer. Do you have a name he goes by? I do not. All I know is that they have gone to several stations that are drifting. Oh my into god, space. it's my brother. <laughs> That's my first reaction. <laughs> it's you, like, you there's say, no way I'm tracking down someone who's you, like you say that aloud? multiple stations. You, you say yeah. That? Your brother. Uh, did he do unethical experiments on the people in the stations? If you mean they were all killed, yes. Were they like flesh piles? Yes. Yeah, that, that, that was my brother. Well, then it seems that we have the best person on the job. He's a I would. I nearly just said in the Doctor Cal voice. I'm not even joking. I was going to say he's a dick to the general. Mm-hmm. I was like, that doesn't feel Newgonian. <laughs> that feels so crude. Oh, he, he's a problem. I was going to need to track him down anyway. Good. While you're out there, though, you'll need to be vigilant. Especially with, uh, the other squadron. I'll see about sending you to Turthtrin Trek so that you can meet them. I believe they're going to be... Once they're... They've dealt with whatever informant is there from your dynasty... I'll send you over there. Uh, oh, okay. Anything else you need from me? I need you to keep in contact with me. I 
I look down at like I, I have like my own quote on no I don't have my own codets anymore do I no you do not the squirrel stole it yes I keep saying squirrel but I'm just going to say squirrel until I am proven on otherwise <laughs> um and, uh, Dr. Cal like goes to reach in his backpack and he's like right that thing stole it. I do not have a codex right now. <laughs> do not have a codex. Oh, no, you remember codex numbers, don't you? I do. You can tell Proto your codex number. I can get it. I'd prefer you get a codex yourself. If I had one. Perhaps, uh, where you got the materials for making Proto. I hear they are a good oh, manufacturer of Codexes. I can't bring Proto there. <laughs> I will allow this to happen. You may go to Vicronix to head to TL Frameworks. Um, Commander Kurto can take you. I, I have a very weird request. <laughs> Is there someone who can look after Proto? During... Uh, he, um... Then perhaps maybe not Commander Kurto. I will have Commander Kurto return back to Tetrin Trek until... You are ready to go meet the squadron. In the meantime, I will assign to you another officer. Yes, so, okay. Good. For now, <laughs> um, you are dismissed. Uh, go down to the waiting area and an officer will come to you. Let Commander Cutter know he may return back to Turtle and Trek without you. Uh, okay. And, uh, and Dr. Cal. Dr. Cal just starts leaving the room. Oh. <laughs> he, he turns around. Remember, we here at Core Command are very observant. I will make sure to try not to break any of your laws. <sighs> of course. And he just walks out the room. You walk out the room, the door opens up, and you see uh, Proto is is next to you. And he looks at you, and he's, just, he, he's looking down at you as the lift goes down. In, di- in a diagonal motion and Proto just stares at you as like yes what do you think I mean I don't trust him but resources are resources he had a strange aura to him did he yes I couldn't quite make it out. What do you mean? What do you mean, aura? Like, what what did you feel? It was almost as if, as soon as he turned on the fireplace, something lit up inside him. Uh, He was a prime, right? Mm Mm-hmm, yeah. Did I see any markings on him? No. Uh, other than just wrinkles on his face, he he was an older fellow, but he still looks pretty like decently built. I wonder if he's has a ma- major link or something like. That. He seems to be a, he seemed to be a tonist. Okay, so yeah, it is very possible that <laughs> he had quote unquote unwoken powers or whatever. What what is it for Thomas? Yeah, yeah, it's like it, they they get a a free talent point inside a power form. 
when they yeah when they okay get it. Then, yeah maybe maybe he has one of those Tannis powers maybe creator do you really think of me as a prototype am I not good enough for you it's not that you're not sorry about this I am not replacing you, Proto. The door opens I just up. want to continue the development of parts inside of you. You are not being replaced. You walk into the lobby area and you see Commander Critter stand up and walks over to you. I was told you should go back to Tur... Tur- was it Turton Trek? Was that, was that what he said? Tur- yes, Turton Trek. Uh, what about you? I was told to wait here for another commander. He's assigning another commander for you? Or officer. Something. I don't like. I, I was not fully paying attention. All right. I found out sometime when you two were talking. I suppose. At another point, known to back in. I, I will contact General Brutal to figure out what my next assignment is. Uh, and if he told you to wait here, then that is what you should do. Do not leave this chamber until an officer comes to meet with you. All right? I, I didn't plan on it. Good. Just make sure. I don't have anywhere to go. <sighs> yes. But where would I go? I don't have a pot. I suppose I will be seeing you on another mark. If I wish I had a pot. Oh, you're still here? Uh, bye. And you see him turn around and then walk away. <laughs> he was still there? I, thought, I seriously thought he just, like, walked off. No, or... he was standing there, creator. And he points at where he, he, where he was standing. <laughs> He's not standing there now. Not anymore. Why are you being weird? Uh, Dr. Cow just, like, goes off and, like, finds some place to sit. You go off and, and find a place to sit as you, you go and sit down. Uh, Proto goes and sits down next to you. What should we do while we wait? I mean, uh, I can't do that. There's too many people and they would be freaked out. Do what? Um, Open me up? I was... Proto, you you have metal on your bones. <laughs> that isn't something you should have. Well, maybe if we go to TL Frameworks, we can figure out why I have metal on my bones. Maybe if I go to TL Frameworks, but you wouldn't be able to I examine me while while I am not there at TL Frameworks with you. I know. That's why I'm not examining you in, at TL Frameworks. It's not very efficient. Do I have a clearer picture. You do not have an efficient what? plan. No, I don't. It's not an efficient plan. You are correct. Then why don't you s- change the plan to be more efficient? But because I had warning not to bring you to TL Framework. Yes, I will by your head. Warning. By your head. I do not trust your head completely. Well, <laughs> you had Dr. A me- Cal looks, looks at him like... Uh, as as this like is, a, a mad father, <laughs> as he this said, is happening, I do not trust your head completely. <laughs> as this is happening, I would like you to roll me a perception check. Oh, I'm good at perception. Not remembering conversations are happening. There's a difference. Oh, I'm probably going to see whatever it is. Twenty. Plus uh, five. Okay. Yeah, you you look around and you see people are looking at you and staring at you guys because you were talking loud while people are just kind of sitting there next to you, by you, and oh, right people exist. And proto we'll, we'll talk later. like yes, people do exist, creator. Well, I'm sorry, I forgot they exist. I don't deal with them all the time. You know, for a Newgonian, you are kind of stupid. It's antisocial. <laughs> There's a difference. I don't want to deal with all these people, so I forget they're there. 
and you see Proto look over next to him to what looks like a uh, a prime taking notes on a codex, like occasionally looking over at, at the two of you, but then like conti- like trying to ignore you guys and taking notes, but Proto just starts staring at him, and then he stops, and he looks up at Proto, and then Proto says, What are you doing? Proto. What? I cannot ask questions? You're, you're not... You've got your social cues for me, so yeah, you cannot ask questions. And you see the Prime st- stands up and goes and sits somewhere else. And Proto is like, look what you did. You made him move. Proto, he was going to move anyway, probably. We'll, we'll talk after this. I don't like waiting. I want to talk to someone who will actually let me talk to them. We, we can talk after we're out of the waiting room. As you continue to wait, uh, you see several more people going up to, to the desk, talking to the operative behind the desk, and then getting something. Some people will will leave the chamber some people go back and sit down and continue to work on their codex on, on something. Um, and then uh, finally, a, a, a door on the other side of the desk opens up. And as it opens up, you see an operative uh, walk out and walk over towards you. Maybe that's the person? As they walk up to you, uh, you see it is a female. Um, here, actually, let me check. Speech? They are prime. Oh, another prime. Another prime. Most another people. prime. There's a lot of those. But yeah, there, there's a lot of prime. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> Who would have Almost thought like that? they're the most common species. Yeah. <laughs> But that makes no sense. Why would they be such a common species if they evolve on any planet? Uh, you see that they walk up to you. And uh, it is a female. And she steps forward and is like, Hello. Are you Dr. Can I, Cal? Can I like, tell what type of prime she is? Like, Does she have any like it, notable cybernetic no, implants? No, no. She looks like a normal prime. I'm going to guess you are not the cron. Right, uh, Dr. Cal unzones. <laughs> zones back in. Uh, he's like, Hello. Are you the operative... What was the name of that general? What was his last name, Proto? Pluto. Pluto, I could have told you that. You need to remember things, creator. Um, Why would I remember things when you just tell me what they are? Excuse me, excuse me. Um, I will be escorting you to wherever you would like, as per General Plutel's order. Oh, right. That's what he said. But Um, he specified that you are to go to research things about your... uh, Prototype? He specified? Oh, yes. I need to go by uh, TL Frameworks, and I just pat Proto on the back. TL Frameworks. Well, you know, as much as I can pat Proto on the back, I, I pat him on the lower back because shorter arms. All right. Well, uh, just so you know, I am I am Officer Asla. Oh, nice to meet you, Miss Asla. Shall we get going? Uh, yes. I look over at Proto. (laughs) Proto just looks at her and then looks back at you. Uh, You ready to go, Proto? I have been ready to go, creator. And he stands up. I know, I know. Let me get you another punching bag. I seem to like those. Yes, I would like one before I punch you. Well, 
that would probably kill me. And I just, like, uh, get up. <laughs> I'm like, uh, where are we heading? Um, uh, wh- either I am going heading? to send you back, or either I'm going to take you back to the laboratory to gather more information that you need, or I'm going to take you to TL Frameworks. Um, I've been in the laboratory for a while. Can you take me to TL Frameworks? Yes, I can. Uh, I was also informed that Proto was not going to come with us. I, and Proto looks over. It's like yes. Pr- Proto looks over at at her and he's like, "So you take orders from General Plutel because General Plutel Anything. was ordered by my creator to not have me there." Well, Proto, it's more like just asking you to not be there. But it's not efficient. Well, Proto, I... We'll deal with this later, Proto. Should we drop Proto off somewhere? Uh, There's not really a place to drop Proto off. We came from that base. Why are you treating me like I am a pet? You are not a pet, Proto. But you still don't have the social thing for me to trust you in public. Why don't you send me to Turth Trin Trek where I can help those, that squadron, the Turth squadron? Do you want to go there, Proto? I can properly help them. And Asla looks back and is like, I don't think I have the authority to do something like that. I I don't think she does either. Also, Proto probably shouldn't go there without me. Oh, so now you want to go with me. Proto, it's the one place I don't want you to go. You guys walk out of the the place. (laughs) One place (laughs) in this entire world I don't want you to go, and you want to go so bad. Because it is where my parts are from. Why you, you you don't want me to go to where my birthplace was at? Not your birthplace. Your birthplace was an operating table. Well, okay. I was turned on on an operating table where you where you you created me, and then you see Asla is just kind of getting uh, <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> no, Doctor Cal does not read the situation. Okay. <laughs> Start now. Why start reading the situation now? Well, pro though. <laughs> uh, I have no response to that. <laughs> Currently. Um and you see Proto just like like continue to walk forward is like I thought we were also going to need to get nutritions. Shouldn't we get nutritions? I'm really hungry. Right, you eat three nutritions a day. Three nutritions? Don't ask me, I have no idea why. That's why I'm going to TL Frameworks. Yes, and I want to know why, so I want to go to TL Frameworks too. I will tell you after I get back from TL Frameworks. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You guys continue to move forward towards a a pod where uh, she enters inside of it. The pod uh, starts up, and you guys lift off. And head out. And as you begin to head out, uh, you see she goes and flies upward, up past the cloud line. And then you see she goes and fly. It's almost like she does a full loop upward. And then as soon as you go upside down, you feel gravity take hold. And it feels like... uh, it looks like you're upside down, but you're now, well, you you are now upside down, but you're also right side up at the same time. And as she goes and goes to what looks like a, a cosmic station, and then she goes and lands, uh, lands o- over there, she looks back towards you guys in the pod as you are strapped in behind behind her as you as it is a one person cockpit for like 
like one person pilot. There's no co-pilot's chair. And she looks back at the, the both of you. It's like, so um, is there, is there maybe? I don't know if I should even. Uh, uh, she she continues to fly as she she starts talking. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Cal, like, kind of looks up and he's like, well, if you're going to ask if there's a place we can drop off Proto, there isn't. I don't have many friends. Uh, and the one I did is dead. I will drop you off and I will take Proto somewhere other than TL Frameworks. How about that? If you can give him somewhere with a punching bag, that would be best. I will try to find some place like that for him. Um, are you going to be safe with... Are you going to be safe without me there? Because I was technically informed that I need to be with you and watch over you. I mean, last time I was there, I was with a servant of the Demos Quartet who looked like he wanted to kill me, so I'm probably fine. All right, well... Um, and you see... Uh, I look over at Proto after she's like says all this. I'm like, Proto, did... I would ask you to be nice, but the only thing you know is like my stuff. She goes and lands. She goes and lands into the cosmic station on on the the top the top quadrant of of the of, of the pillar command ring, and as she lands there, uh, she says, I, I need to fuel up real real quick and then we're gonna we're gonna head out to the quantum forest, okay? Uh, okay, that means wait. Oh no, you're a prime. Unless you wanna go through p- pillar transport. If we go to if we go through p- pillar transport then well we're not gonna already have no, it, 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 it's... All right. Good. Well then just give me a second as I re- refuel. And Um she stands up and she goes and walks out of her pod. Uh, and Proto oh, just sits there. <laughs> I'm going to need you to be nice. Do you know how to do that? I know how to be nice. I just don't like being nice okay. to those who can't let me go to TL Frameworks. That is the exact sound, Dr. Calmates. That didn't pick up through the mic, did it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a, just a sigh, but yeah. angrily, <laughs> angry sigh. <laughs> just, although I'm not bringing you to TL frameworks, I might take you next time I go. I just don't want you there the first time. Fine, I will find a different place that I want to go. That is a good idea. Then we could go to that place. Or well, maybe I don't want you to go with me. Then have fun. Don't kill anyone. But what if I need to kill someone? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't sign up to be a parent. <laughs> Look over at it. Oh, no. I, I didn't think. I, I don't. I don't know, Pro. Though <laughs> you created me. See, you call yes. me Proto because I am not good enough for you. Hm. Your parts aren't good enough for me. There's a difference. <laughs> I like you. I just don't like all of the things I did on you. You mean my personality? You made me how I am. Is- your personality is fine. I'm talking about the more technical things, like your chemical synthesizers. Okay. It needs some refinement. Whatever. He just kind of ignores you now. Also, try not to do that weird power-up punch on anything, like, solid... I don't want you to, you know, break any more skin for a minute. The door opens back up, and she's like, all set! And she goes over and sits down 
at the pilot's chair. And then you hear Proto say, Asla. Yes? <laughs> Can you take me some more fun? Um, I can we'll we'll figure it out when when uh, after I drop Dr. Cal off. Also try to get him some nutrition. Yes, I would like some nutrition. I will take you somewhere fun and that will feed you well, all right? That sounds good. And he looks over towards you. See, I am going somewhere without you. That will be even better than... No. Uh, I don't care about Ooh. that, Prodo. You're the one who cares about going with me there. Yes, I guess. I guess technically I would really much like to go to TL Framework still. <laughs> and uh, uh, as that happens, she lifts off <laughs> and you guys fly out into past, well, actually past the atmosphere of the harbor out into space as you see the uh, planetary ring of the harbor as you guys begin to fly out. And we're going to end the session there. Okay, no more weird conversations with Proto. (laughs) (laughs) Just like bashing your head with a rock. With, with a rock, <laughs> there's only one place that I'm not letting him go. Well, we will see what happens uh, in a few sessions. Uh, but yeah, I feel sorry for Asla just overhearing whatever we talk about. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, thank you all for listening. Can't to, wait. Thank you all for listening can't to wait. the session. Uh, what, 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 what can't you wait for? <laughs> I can't wait until like Pro, uh, Dr. Cal and Proto don't think about it and just open up the back of Proto's head. Oh my gosh. They will not like ask. They, they will not say anything until asked. Yeah. Because that's just not how they are. Like Dr. Cal, <laughs> negative three social. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, wow. Sorry, charisma. Well, that, that was a, that was a good session. It was uh, it was kind of goofy, but it w- it was good, and we will continue next time with you reaching Micronix and going into well, going into TL frameworks. Maybe meeting TL. We will see. Anyways, thank you all for listening to this session, and if death comes to you, may you be reborn in power. I thank you for listening to The Doctor. Be sure to check out the official New Age campaign, now releasing here on the podcast and streaming bi-weekly Tuesdays on Twitch. A link will be found in the description of this entry. And if you want to be reborn yourself, you can subscribe as a Chosen to access Chosen Creation and exclusive Codex entries. Until next time, travelers, be safe, stay safe, and if death comes to you, may you be reborn in power.